And first, an update on flooding hitting northeast Wisconsin tonight. These are pictures from Swamico. High winds pushed up water, closing several roads. You see roads that are affected right here. Riverside Drive east of Mink Ranch Road. Then there's Longtail Beach Lane and Sunset Beach Road just before the Swamico boat launch. The wind contributing to the issues. This was the scene on Lake Michigan today. Look at those waves roll. The video taken this morning as waves crashed along Cave Point Park in Door County. And we do have a weather alert right now. Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland here and Cameron, the alert has to do with the wind. That's right, John. The wind has been causing a lot of problems today, and we can expect some more problems as we move into tomorrow. A new wind advisory has been issued for the southern part of the viewing area for tomorrow. It includes Sheboygan, Fond du Lac, Green Lake, and Marquette counties. It goes into effect for tonight and then into tomorrow afternoon. We're looking at the threat of winds gusting up to around 50 miles per hour, this time out of the south and west, as opposed to the south and east that we saw earlier today. We can expect blowing objects and some power outages and dry may be difficult. Earlier today, we had some very gusty winds across all of northeast Wisconsin. Southeast winds gusting 40 to almost 50 miles per hour, and those winds caused significant flooding once again along the shoreline of Green Bay. All of the lakeshore flood advisories have been dropped, but earlier today, we had numerous reports of coastal flooding here from northwestern Brown County up through Oconto County, Marinette County, and then north into Menominee County, Michigan. Now these winds have been with us on and off here for the last uh, 12 to 18 hours, but now they're beginning to switch to the south and west. So that's going to push the water more up to the north and east as opposed to onshore like we saw earlier today. Now this is a situation we've been dealing with on and off uh, throughout this entire year with Water piling up in the lower bay thanks to northeast winds. Today it was southeast winds bringing some flooding to areas that had not seen coastal flooding so far this year. And this is going to continue on and off as we have big storms roll across the upper Midwest until the bay eventually freezes over. John? And those high lake levels, Cameron, thanks so much. You mentioned Ocano County, so let's go now to Ocano, where the wettest year on record continues to cause problems. People who live close to Lake Michigan dealing with flooding, water coming right up to homes. NBC 26 is Ryan Curry live in Ocano tonight with where things stand right now. It's been a right damp now, day for Ryan. many residents here in Ocano, John. Flooding yet again plaguing this part of northeast Wisconsin. The water level has receded, but if you take a look down at my feet, you can kind of see that there are several inches of water still on the roadway, making travel a little difficult for people in this area. But if you go further down the road, water level getting even worse as you go around the corner on County Road. And you can take a look and see footage that we shot earlier. This footage showing what, how high the water actually was in Oconto earlier today. Now, we haven't had any reports of anybody being evacuated in the area, but water level getting so high that it has been impacting some homes in this area. It's been getting up to their home level. Now, so far, we haven't heard any damages or anything reported like that, but I spoke with one man in Oconto earlier who says he's tired of seeing this amount of water in this year. Uh, it's not normal. We normally don't have this much problem with uh, the water uh, covering the roads. Now again, no one has been evacuated from this flooding today, but if you are driving in this area of Oconto, you should be advised because the water level is still high enough that it could impact some travel in this area. Reporting live in Oconto, Ryan Curry, NBC 26.